this video, I'm going to show you how to use Copilot Studio to create Copilot agents for M365 Copilot as a channel. This will allow you to be able to build full Copilot capabilities and full agent capabilities inside of the M365 Copilot as extensions. In case you're new to Copilot agents and you don't know what they are, think of Copilot agents as the extensibility layer for the M365 Copilot or for first party Copilot products at Microsoft. So in this video, we're going to go through how to do this using Copilot Studio, the full Copilot Studio experience. I have a different video that you can go to to see how to do it with the inline builder. This is going to give you the power to be able to use topics and other things that you can't use in the inline builder. So that gives you the full power of Copilot Studio to build these Copilot agents. And just to show you what I mean by a Copilot agent, one last time here, I want to make sure that you understand the difference between a full uh, agent built inside of Copilot Studio versus building a extensibility or a Copilot agent itself. So you'll see on the left hand side, we've always been able to go and build our own agent. And then on the right hand side, we've also had the ability to extend first party Copilot products like the M365 Copilot using Copilot Studio. But we always had a limitation there because you only could do what the inline builder could do. Now what we are able to do is actually do the thing on the left here, which is build your own agent and then use that as an extensibility to the M365 Copilot by just publishing to it as if it were its own channel. This is super powerful because it gives you the ability to use everything inside of Copilot Studio that you've grown to love and be able to bring that over into the M365 Copilot. Examples of this would be things like topics or actions or other things that you couldn't do with the inline builder. So what you'll see here is that we're in the M365 Copilot experience. And if you notice over on the right rail here and say create an agent, and when I click create an agent, what I'm doing is you can see this is Copilot Studio. And sure, I can click on something like career coach and be able to start building an experience that I'm looking for and even go to configure and be able to come in here and be able to add different capabilities, give it different instructions, all of these wonderful things, as well as add knowledge. But you'll notice that the knowledge is really limited to just what's in the uh, inside of SharePoint and things of that nature. It, but if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that we do things with topics and actions, and you can see actions aren't even available in this at this point. And that gives us the ability to have really, really robust co-pilot or agent capabilities that we want to build. But we've never really been able to take those and bring those to the M365 co-pilot. But that all changes now. But the way that we go about it is we actually start in Copilot Studio and build what we're looking for and then publish it across to the M365 Copilot as an extensibility or a Copilot agent. So let's go see how you go do that inside of Copilot Studio versus starting with the inline builder in this experience. Okay, so now what we're in is we're in Copilot Studio itself. And as you can see inside of Copilot Studio, we have a completely different building experience here. And one of the things that we're going to do is we're not necessarily going to build in this video because this video is more about going in and being able to make a an agent available as a Copilot agent inside of the M365 Copilot. So what I want to do is let's go take one that we've already built. So let's go in to agents and let's go into the Porsche 911 manual one. Uh, I did a video on how to do this one uh, historically. So if you're interested in that, go check out that video. However, what I wanna do is just 
kind of look at it. And so that way we can see what this does and maybe the things that we need to do in order to be able to make this all work. And as you can see in this particular one, this is basically just one that allows us to be able to um, look up information about the Porsche 911 and things of this nature. And then if I scroll down, you're, you'll see that I have knowledge, but this knowledge is not inside of SharePoint. This knowledge is actually PDF documents that I have basically uploaded into Dataverse to be able to uh, do this. So whenever we talk about that, I went in to add knowledge and I came in and I just dragged and dropped these files in to be able to talk with it. Now, the thing is, is that that adds the ability to search across images and things like that on these particular documents. It also means that anyone who has access to this agent. I don't need them to have rights to something downstream inside of SharePoint. It just means if you have access to this agent, you have access to these uh, PDF documents that will be used to be able to answer questions. Now, the other thing I did just to, for fun uh, to show you guys is I also added a topic, and this topic is the order pizza topic. And again, I just used a simple uh, create a new topic and made it where we could have uh, the ability to order some pizza through this, uh, just to show you the concept that we have the ability to also have topics within, uh, within this. Now, again, we could add actions. We could easily come in here and add like the weather action or things of that nature. But I wanna move on to a, a new capability that's inside of Copilot Studio, which is going to be your starter prompts. And you'll see here that I've added in different starter prompts so that you can just ask questions about like what are, uh, uh, what are the color options, the models, the interior options, safety features, and wheel options offered on 911s. Now, I did all this because when you're trying to publish into the M365 Copilot as a Copilot agent, you'll notice that they always have these little boxes that are starter prompts to help you out. So this is where you do that inside of the Copilot Studio side, and you can do it by just clicking edit, and you can see here we've got those. So, uh, so I've already done all of this, but now the thing that you have to be able to do in order to get this to go further is that you actually need to go through the publishing action. So if you haven't published, you'll need to go ahead and publish your uh, Copilot agent. The reason I'm getting this risk is you'll see here that um, I'm saying that I'm published to all users in the organization, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit publish here and let it go through its process. Okay, now that we're actually published, what I wanna also do is let's go look at the channels. And when we go to the channels, this is gonna be where you have the ability to choose where you want to make your different agent available. And one of the things that I'm, we have is Teams and now Microsoft 365. So if we click this button here and we look at this, what I want you to see is that there is now a checkbox that you can check. And you can see I've checked this box which says make agent available in Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now, in order to be able to see this correctly, you have to come in here and you have to look at availability options. So, so let's just go into this and look further. Now, if I wanted to go to Teams, you can do things like you can get the link and talk to it through that. You can download a zip file, which will give you the manifest file. And you can use that to also hand over if you wanna do it as a zip file. But what if I wanna say show to everyone in my org? Well, in this case, we've actually built it so that you can go in and uh, set this up. And notice that there are other options uh, that we had here. We had the ability to also say, you know, I only want to give it to a certain set of people and shared users, but let's, let's go ahead and select show to everyone. And then what we can do is we can click this button and notice we've got the app ID in case you need it, but we're going to go ahead and say that we want to give everyone access to this agent. And I'm just going to say yes to this. Now, once I do this, what I'm doing is I'm asking for permission to the admin of the M365 Copilot and Teams 
to be able to go do this. And you can see here that we are now waiting for approval. Now, in order to be able to get that approval, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to play the role of the admin now and let you see what's going to happen. And you can see here that we've we've got it available and such. So in order to do this, and if you're not familiar with, with this, I'm going to just navigate from Copilot Studio over just so that you can see um, how you can go about doing this if you if you really want to. So one is I'm going to just jump over to the Power Platform Admin Center really quick. And then notice down here we have Admin Centers. And if you scroll down, you'll see the M365 Admin Center. If we go into the, that particular Admin Center, you'll actually be able to come in and say Show All down here. And you'll notice that there is an Admin Center for Teams. So we'll go into the Teams Admin Center. And when we go into the Teams Admin Center, you'll see here Teams Apps. And underneath Teams Apps, you can see Manage Apps. And when we go through this and we look for this, you'll notice here that now we have one that says Submitted a Custom App for Approval. Now, in order to get this approved, what you need to do is you need to come in and you need to filter down. So we'll we're come in here and create a filter. And we're going to say that we want to look for publishing status is equal to submitted. And we're going to apply this. Now, once we've done that, you'll see here that it's currently blocked. So as the admin, the admin for Teams or for M365 Copilot needs to approve this for use for the organization. So let's go into it and look at this. And you can see that they're going to get all the different information about it. They'll be able to see privacy policy, the icons, all of this stuff. And know that people tend to have their own reasons or processes within their organization on what they're expecting these things to meet as far as uh, certain levels of requirements for your like a center of excellence or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and say that we're good with this. And you can see they could reject it, but we're going to go ahead and say publish. And once we say publish, what we have now done is we have made this available for our different users. But notice that it says here it can take a few hours for it to be able to populate. So I'm going to speed the video up a little bit and allow it to be able to go through the publishing process so that way you guys don't have to wait for it. Okay, it's been at least four hours uh, that it took to be able to go through and become available. But now that we actually have our published Copilot agent that has been built and is now available, you'll notice that we are now back in the M365 Copilot interface. And as the user, it's not just auto-populating here for me. So what I'm going to do is I need to go in and say that I want to actually use this one out of the different agents that are available to me. So I'm going to go ahead and say get agents here. Now, once I do this, you'll notice that it basically takes me over to the apps section on this side. And you'll see that you've got all these different ones that are available to you that have already been uh, approved or are part of the uh, pre-approved ones. And I'm just going to type 911 in here. And you'll see now what we have is we have the Porsche 911 manual that's available to me. And I can click on this. And I can see here that it says it works across Copilot and Teams. You'll see all the information that we had put in before. And you can see that it was built using Microsoft Copilot Studio. But we'll just go ahead and click Add. And once we go and we click Add, what's going to happen is that it's going to pop up over here. And remember, we had those different uh, pre-made uh, selections inside of Copilot Studio, the different uh, things to help you explore what that thing can actually do. Well, in this case, what I can do now is I can click one of these and I can send it through. And you'll actually see that it's going to go out. It's going to hit the, um, 
the Copilot Studio implementation for this particular thing. Now it's been a while since I've hit it. So the first time, sometimes it takes it a second just to fire up on the back end and the infrastructure, but we should have it be able to respond to this and answer the questions. Now, uh, and as you can see, it went ahead and it answered this question uh, for us. And you can see that it's using uh, the different items that we had. Now, the other thing is, is that if you recall, we also had the ability to say order pizza and it would go through and allow us to be able to do a multi-step thing and ask me what kind of pizza and I can say pepperoni and, and do all of these things um, and be able to actually interact with this particular, um, this, a this agent. So, um, we're just going to finish doing this so that you guys can see it. And you can see here that it did all this. Now, that was a custom topic that we used just then inside of the Copilot agent. Now, this is something you couldn't do if you had done it any other way. So, also, when we were doing this up here, we were using the Dataverse upload a file option for these particular pieces of information. Again, something we couldn't do with the inline builder. And so this gives us the ability to really expand what a Copilot agent can do way beyond what the inline builder is able to produce today. And there's one last little trick that I do want to show you that if you're not aware of this is if you go into Copilot, back up here on the top, you can come down here and now that we've installed this as a Copilot agent, we can do an at to the Porsche manual and we can say something like, uh, what colors does it come in, right? And we can ask questions that way as well. So you don't necessarily have to go talk directly to it on the right rail. We can at mention it and it will go through the process and it will answer the question here. Now, one of the things that you'll see is that it takes it a second to respond and it's because of the fact that we don't have streaming support quite yet uh, for, th for this particular implementation. So uh, assuming that, you know, streaming responses would come in, you'll see it start to do things where it'll answer the question and it would generate this response and stream the response back. Um, so looking forward to when that particular capability comes in, it's definitely something that I know is coming. Well, I hope you liked this video today. And if you want more videos like that, please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, you can try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.